How do you improve or make a story better? Well, there's a lot of ways that you can make a story better. Um, the, the most effective way I've found is to make it shorter. Um, the thing I've learned, one of the big things I learned at CSUN was that there can't be any superfluous moment in a screenplay because the attention of an audience is so short. You need to constantly be showing them what the next step is, what the next question is, what the next mystery is. Um, there's not a lot of time for you to go on tangents that are not directly related to the story of the film. Now, I, I talked about before being able to go on tangents through the eight sequence method. In that case, even the tangents are directly related to the main storyline in some way. So like in the case of Misery, when we follow the sheriff as he tries to figure out what's going on with this missing guy and he ends up going to the house, we're not following the main character, but we're following a character that's going to come in contact with that character. So it's, it's vital that every single scene be directly related to the narrative spine of it. Um, you know, finding a way to make all your characters unique um, is something that's always good. Uh, one of the common tricks um, that I actually use and that's actually very effective is if you write a scene and if you cover the names of all the characters, if you read the scene, just the dialogue, and you don't immediately know who the characters are based on what they're saying, you need to go back and figure out a way to write it so that it's specific to that character. Uh, and that's a very effective way to kind of improve the uniqueness of the characters in your story. Um, you know, whether it's by changing the cadence of how they talk, whether it's changing the point of view of what they're saying, you know, figuring out why they're saying it. Um, it helps to deepen who those characters are. Um, those are those are some ways I think that can help. Talk about sort of, you know, like cutting the fat to speed it up. But one thing I, I love and, and I feel like we've gotten too fast paced with some of the movies and maybe that's just because of I'm in a different generation, you know, mm. but it, it seems like it's a real art form to actually have it be fast enough for television. Let's say like sharp objects. It felt mm. like a slower pace thing, but I get it if you broke down just all the different scenes and, and sequences and, and, you know, shots and stuff. It was probably very quick, but there was a slow feel to it. Mm. And uh, the last black man in San Francisco, mm -hmm. there was a slower feel to it. Mm -hmm. But I mean, I'm sure if you boiled it down, it was actually quite fast paced, but I think that's a real art. Oh, absolutely. And part of that ties into the way that you film the story. You know, you think of like Big Little Lies, there's that to me didn't feel all that fast paced because you have a lot of scenes, you know, with like Nicole Kidman, for example, in therapy. Those scenes, even though they're vital to the story, they don't lend themselves to snap bang, fast action storytelling. So the, the type of story that you're telling can help to affect the pacing of it. Even if it is properly structured in the script, the way that you film it can have a big effect on that. That's true, because I'm thinking of like the different women in there and they're sort of their emotional uh, wine drinking scene where the beautiful ocean, like a lot of them seem yeah. to have these great scenes. I'm like, wow, I wish I could live there. But oh, you know, so, too. and then they're having this sort of meltdown and the husband is like, honey, it's okay, you know? And it, it was very, uh, it felt very slow moving, but I, mm -hmm. I get it. It, it probably was, was just a, a quick moment. Yeah, yeah, and it's all the style of the filmmaker too. You know, I, one, one film I think of a lot in terms of that is The Big Lebowski. Um, so that film, if you read the script, the script moves pretty quick. But if you watch the film, the film takes place in a lot of single shots. And it moves very, the camera moves very slowly as the characters progress through the scene. So that has a way of slowing things down a little bit. So even though the script is very tight, every scene ties in directly to, to what the main story is, even though like, you, can, you can see meandering because of who the character is, everything's there. But the way that the Coens shoot, it's almost kind of theatrical, where everything is taking place within a single frame and characters are moving within and out without any cuts. That can give the feeling of a slower pace. So it's a, it's a filmmaking thing more than it is a screenwriting thing. Okay, interesting. Yep.